Hey, what's going on guys? This is Diggerman Fly on RC in Motion and this is going to be part 2 of the unboxing of the Trailfinder 2 kit as you guys could see on your screen. Let me show you what we're unboxing today. Remember I had told you guys um, I had a couple things going in the mail and um, I'm going to go ahead and unbox them here for you. That way you guys could uh, have a look of uh, pretty much all the upgrades I'm going to be putting on this truck. And uh, I have a couple parts I ordered for my uh, honcho. And I'll be doing a uh, series on that as well. But I'll go ahead and show you um, the parts for that as well. Okay, so uh, let's start out. Uh, you guys can see there I got a couple decals from the guys at CKRCCrawlers.com. RC4WheelDrive.com. Let me show you guys what I got. Let's just stop the chatter. Let's show you. Went ahead and uh, and opened them up just so you guys could uh, just to pretty much see if I had everything in the uh, in the box. But uh, let's go ahead and pretty much that's the uh, the box it came in. Uh, kind of got crippled here. Let me show you. Kind of got crippled here with the uh, postal service and of course CKRC RC four wheel drive CKRC. Um, Let's go ahead and start unboxing. So, we have a bunch of things in here. Okay. Uh, these I just bought uh, for the build series on, um, on rccrawler.com. But they're the chubby jack stands, pretty much. Uh, so, I can set the axles and put them on pretty much there. Check this out. RC four wheel drive tough armor machine front winch bumper part number Z S O seven three two pretty tough bumper it's for the trail finder too oh they fell out they go in here hold up These are the Super Soft Flex Red Leaf Springs for RC Four Wheel Drive Trail Finder 2. And of course, they were kind of ripped under here, so that's why they fell. Pretty sweet. I got those as well. Throw that. Uh, part number ZSO 570. So I'll just mention, it looks like they're going to be ZSO. I'll just mention the last. Th uh, three. I got part number zero six four. These are pretty much the uh, what are these? These are like the shackles to hold um, to hold the leaf springs. I got them in silver, and these are um, these are metal as well. So you can see there. Let's see if it focuses. Yep. So they're silver. I wanted to. Make it shiny as well. <laughs> but I got these. We got some uh, King Kong toe shackles. I got like three of them. Uh, 075 is the part number. Here goes the rest of them. What's this? Oh, ho, check it out. These are scale steel punisher shafts. 100 to 130 millimeter. This would pretty much fit the uh, Trail Finder 2. Uh, part number 209. These are pretty beefy. Look at that. Pretty cool. I got both, of course. Um, this is for my um, honcho because I didn't have this for um, the, uh, the steel wheels. Uh, these are just um, stamp 1.55 and 1.7. B lock wheel hex hubs. So I needed a set. So that's for my honcho. And I got these. Box is done. Let's throw it out. I got these. Let me show you guys. 
let me, let me see if I could, uh, I'd want to, I want to go ahead and test, I want to go ahead and test these. I'm not too sure how they would do out in the trails, but just give them a test run. They're the RC four-wheel drive dirt grabbers. These are 1.9. Okay, I mean, look at the tread on that. It looks kind of like a rally, but I think it'll look scalar on the um, trail finder. So that's looks pretty sweet. I mean, feels like they'll be sticky enough to grab. I mean, I could just cut in through the tread itself. But yeah, I gra I grabbed me uh, four of these, of course, two sets, and they are part number. 005 pretty much all terrain tires okay I got two of those okay so that's it for uh, RC four wheel drive let's go ahead into CKRC pretty sweet okay the first thing is the uh, L3 uh, panhard kit this is for my honcho pretty much it gives it mounts your servo up to the chassis instead of like on the uh, axle itself so I said I might as well get this so I went ahead and bought it for my hot I'll, I'll, I'll show a, a, a tutorial on putting this together on uh, your XCX10 um, let's see I want to show you guys this this one's pretty I think it's pretty cool this is for the um, this is gonna be for the uh, trail finder these are G made TS zero one scale shocks 90 millimeter with the um they have a like a like a thicker uh shaft and this is pretty much like the build kit uh the spring is inside of course it has these like little boots that you can put on it it's for a scalar look pretty much and they're part number gm 20 80 and 2 20 8, 0, 2 so I mean it looks pretty sweet and they include um they include everything except the oil which I have oil there. Looks like pretty cool. Um what else we got? We have two more and that's pretty much it. So uh for my honcho, I'm still debating whether I should use these on the uh, trail finder or the ones I'm gonna show you right now. So it all comes down to whether they're gonna fit properly. Um, let me show you here. They're the G Made XD piggyback shocks, 93 millimeters, part number GM21107. Check them out. It's the entire kit, and this one actually, they include the oil, the shock oil. It's made by G Made, and it's the. Uh, Pretty much the piggyback shocks. It's just this little cap here has a reservoir, and you can fill it up with oil. It'll just go uh, from the shock body in the reservoir and back and forth. But uh, these are pretty sweet, and they're they're all uh, metal. Um, they include some some springs. I don't know if I'm going to use these. These seem kind of hard and stiff. Yeah, I'll go ahead and try some team associated. Uh, soft uh, spring but of course I got uh, two but uh, that's it pretty much the upgrades I'm gonna put on the uh, trail finder 2 hopefully this build could start going on here uh, in the next uh, couple weeks so I'm gonna try and post a video uh, once a week of the build pretty much and try to go as close as the book and the pamphlet to show you guys if I get into a bump here and there. Like I did on my honcho build. I actually showed you guys that the manual was kind of off uh, regarding the um, the parts going inside. Uh, uh, pretty much the parts you had to drill them out. And, and it was just a big pain in the butt pretty much. But uh, this build I'll be glad to uh, help you guys out if I get into a bump, into a stall. I'll let you guys know so that way when you get your kit, uh, you can you know what to expect pretty much. Um, the upgrades are optional. You don't have to do them. Uh, it's just an option I wanted to go with. Uh, I know they have plastic bumpers, so I wanted to get some steel bumpers. Here's the rear one. 
is the rear one right here like I showed you guys with the little uh, hitch in the in the back of course um, but like I said the, the upgrades are optional you have the option to upgrade it or just leave it stock most of the parts are all anodized parts and and they're they're all metal uh, for the most part uh, of course the drive shaft bumpers and a couple things are gonna be plastic but if you want to upgrade it hey, by all means you can upgrade it uh, like I said it's just an option um, I'm gonna be uh, building it so this is how I wanted it to uh, to come out um, you guys know rate comment subscribe share this video like it uh, I'll be I'll be checking you guys out on the trails digger man fly out